Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com. Today we're going to look at this uh, patio, front patio area, um, that looks simple, but in fact it's not. So this customer has a couple of chairs that they have here and here, a couple of windows, um, light fixture, and they want the heater placed right in the front here, and they want it to support heat in these areas. So um, let's just go ahead and look at some of the challenges that we have here. Hold on one second. And here we go. So I hope my mouse is going to work right today. Um, in any case, let's go ahead and look at some of the dimensions first. First of all, I have um, this eave that comes out. So I have it at uh, approximately one foot out and then there's a two by six I have here. It could be a two by eight. If it's a two by eight, great. Um, so that comes out to one foot two. The customer thinks it's about um, one, uh, 10 inches. That might be a little bit of a challenge, but it shouldn't be. And I'll show you why. Um, the top of this inner uh, eave section is seven feet, 10 inches, and then seven two to the top of this, uh, the bottom of the eave here. Uh, between the windows I got about eight foot nine and we're just going to be dealing with this space here roughly 10 feet and I think this is 17 feet here so those are pretty much all the measurements I think um, you might notice um, when comparing their um, seating arrangement to what I have um, I have the uh, chairs inside of this area um, my chairs are lounges and they actually have chairs with the uh, ottomans there so uh, just to give a kind of an example um, so let's go ahead and look at what a um, SL so the slimline model this is going to be a 4000 watt unit and so um, I'm choosing to mount it on the bottom of the eave the SL has a very short um, bracket I think this is three inches long and it actually um, moves up and down this channel here as you can see there's this little channel that goes along this whole uh, back side so it can move around that channel um, but you can see I don't have it attached to the heater and that's because I don't have the uh, extension um, mounting brackets um, modeled out here but in any case there is a two a four and a six inch extension so that means that the bracket will look the same it's just going to be two inches further four inches and six inches um, what I'm looking at here is approximately three um, uh, three inches of distance extension that I need so we're going to have to go to the four inch extension that's going to be true on the next example I give you as well so with this and let me show you the reason why I think I have this uh, set up at here we go so this is the top clearance around the heater and um, when we angle the heater at such a great I got this at 60 degrees and by the way the the brackets uh, when you mount them to um, a surface there's one way that you can mount it and it'll be I think 40 degrees max tilt and if you flip them to the other side and this one flipped to the other side then you get a 60 degree tilt on the bracket so just keep keep that in mind but as you can see here with this uh, clearance to combustibles this fascia being the combustible this is the gutter system here and so that's non-combustible but um, so we're concerned about this right here uh, with this combustible surface we have to push this heater out further if we're going to angle it down to this maximum 60 degree tilt so let's go ahead and look at the uh, footprint of the ray that we get you can see here that our footprint is not quite hitting the backs of the seat I'm probably out about almost two feet um, maybe 18 inches from this wall to this edge um, you will get a little residual output here but it's not the ideal output so that's something just to consider but you can see here I get about a, um, close to a 10 foot throw from left to right so that should be adequate for that and then of course um, you know you can see here this is 10 foot but this is really um, 
not the most ideal spot right here. So um, if you just have the two heaters, I think you'll be, or excuse me, the two uh, seating positions, I think that'll be fine. If you can move them a little bit closer, you'll get more into that ray. You'll feel more of the warmth. And let's see if there's anything else. The heater's gonna be roughly, I'd say, you know, off the ground, probably like six foot 11, something of that nature, the bottom edge of this heater to the ground floor. So something else to consider. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the uh, dimensions here. And of course there's one more clearance that I just want to um, speak about, and that is the clearance um, below the heater. And this is another reason you can't um, just mount it even on a wall. So if I was to take this heater and try to move it to the wall surface and, you know, place it inside this cavity, then I would be uh, not meeting the clearances over here. This is from this point here, the edge of the heater out is 18 inches, and then um, it goes out to 32 inches down here. This up here is from the top of the heater here, six inches, and from the sides, six inches, six inches, and from the ends, six inches on top. And of course, here's 18 on the bottom edge of that. So that's a little bit of a challenge. Um, it's pretty simple. Once you know that information, you can get those extension brackets. And um, I think that will suit this uh, application just fine. Now there are other options um, with electric heaters. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So the other option would be the um, C-Series heater. The C-Series heater has a different bracket. You can see that my bracket here is um, expanding across the whole entire area here, but you can also see I had to push this out as well for the exact same reasons. That same reason would be the um, clearance around the heater. And so I need that six inches back here and um, pushing the heater out. And I just pushed the bracket with it this time. Um, you can see I meet that clearance. So there is an extension 246 extension uh, inches that is and you'd have to go with a four inch extension maybe you can take this bracket and just uh, chop off you know with a chop saw um, you know the the bottom or the upper portion and then just kind of you know make you a line down this direction maybe follow that um, profile here and then just come here and just bring it down to where you need it and um, that might be a option on this particular heater that's if you like this uh, this uh, visual aspect of it. Um, and again, you're not going to be able to place it up on the wall or underneath this eave here um, because of those clearances. And let's go ahead and look at the clearance below. So you can see we're meeting that clearance as well. And we're meeting the clearance here to the fascia. Also, the footprint's um, almost identical. Um, you can consider it identical. The uh, SL has the uh, offset of the uh, element a little bit, so that's the only thing that's really different. That's going to give you about a 2-inch, 3-inch difference as far as the uh, footprint of heat. And um, that is it. I hope this helps. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application, we're here to help. Our email is support at patioheat.com. And if this has helped you or if you learned something from it, a uh, thumbs up would be great. It just allows us to um, know that uh, people are, are looking for this kind of information and will continue to support it. And uh, thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Thank you.